And here we are on this fabulous day with John Conway, famous mathematician. So, John. Come here. Yes, you. Um, so, uh, tell us what country you're from and um, where, where you were born. Well, my name is John Conway. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was born in Liverpool, England. I was born two days before Christmas. That is the 26th of December. No. <laughs> well, one day after Christmas. Yeah, yeah, that's my mom's birthday. That's not the <laughs> JK, just okay. kidding. I was tricking you guys. See, I'm a mathematician and making sure you guys knew what you were talking about. But I was born in 1937. Great year, great year. Right in the Depression. Yes, great. Good year, good year. No. Okay. So, um, John, are you still alive or have you died yet? Well, actually, lots of people think I'm dead. Even if I hang out with them, they're like, John, are you dead? I just have to keep reminding them I'm not dead. I'm still alive and well, and it's working this little math gears in my mind all the time. Right, you. Well, thank you, John, for telling us about oh, your, your you. years. Mm. When? Are you going? Yes. Hello, I'm Paul Cohen, born in 1934 in Long Branch, New Jersey. I'm Jewish. <laughs> now I immigrated to the United States of America from Poland. <laughs> Molly! My oh, dog. Oh, that's not historical. But, okay. John? <laughs> Take it away from here. <laughs> Good evening. I'm with the always famous and always delightful Paul Cohen. Paul Cohen. <laughs> Paul Cohen. Just slip my tongue for a moment, please just don't mind me, my old age. So, Paul, is it alright if I call you Paul? Oh, yes, quite, quite, quite fine. Paul, so, um, tell me a little bit something about yourself. Wait, wait, where do you come from? What? How old are you? What, what, what year were you born? Well, actually, I, I'm dead. You're dead? I died on. Okay, okay. March 23rd. Well, I am just honored. In 2007, at Stanford Hospital. Okay. But, on a brighter note, I was born on April 2nd, in 1934. <laughs> In Poland. I immigrated from Poland with my family to Long Branch, New Jersey. So, um, this is kind of random, but what religion? I wanted to be a mathematician at the age of 11, and so I did. Uh, at such age, a young hey, age. This is my interview. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, so, at the age of four, I already knew my time tables. I was the smartest little kid. My mother, I was so nice and beautiful, beautiful. I just remember her long hair, it was luscious. I would have smelled so good. Was it similar to yours? <laughs> why? Why are you surprised? I get my golden locks from her. Can you tell? Is it golden? Yes, they're golden. The lighting is just bad here. But any hoodle. Yes, I became <laughs> ambitious to become a mathematician at the age of 11, and I frequently went on math. Excuse me? I frequently. Hey! 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 I frequently <laughs> went on math camps all the time, like twice a year, and they were great. I met lots of new people, lots of people like me. Um, I graduated, you know. I got married in 2007. Oh, wait, John, John, back up. Where did you graduate from? Um, well, I. Bonville and Caius College in Cambridge, and I studied mathematics. I didn't know if you knew that. I did. <laughs> mathematics is my ideal. Um, in 1986, I was chair of mathematics in Princeton. In Princeton, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> I received the Bruick Prize. The prize. Of the, Bruick. The Bur Sorry, my braces. These days, you know, old men with braces. It's crazy. <laughs> but I received the Bruick Prize in 1971. And so we not just stop at prizes yet. I did not receive it yet, but in the future I would. Tell me about your family. I. Family. My family. No, not your family. John Conway's family. <laughs> I had seven kids! Wait, did you say this? No. Oh. Seven children! Married in 2007. Seven, seven, seven. Three grandchildren. You were married in 2007. Huh? You were married in 2007. You broke down and I'm married in 2007. Oh, what do you say? I broke <laughs> Okay, you were married. <laughs> <laughs> Those seven kids, they were a handful growing up, you know, they were all so smart, but yet so crazy. Any hoodle, that is about it on my life. I mean, what can I say? I'm just awesome. That's math. Well, thank you, John. We'll be back with you later for another episode of Interviewing Mathematicians. <laughs> so, um, tell me a little bit about your childhood. Um, you know, what school you into? Your family? Your right. life? Well, um, as you all know, the last interview, I had a Jewish family. And um, as a child, I was very well known as a math prodigy. <laughs> very, very good. <laughs> um, in the year of 1950, at the age of 16 to me, I graduated from... <laughs> Steve Old High School in New York City. I was a young age, you must have been so smart. I was brilliant, brilliant. Anyways, then from 1950 to 1953, I earned my bachelor's degree at Brooklyn College. I then realized that I could get into the University of Chicago with no trouble at all. I transferred there and earned my master's in mathematics and continued on to receive my doctorate, Doctor of Philosophy, in 1958, based on topics in the theory of uniqueness of trigonomic, trigonometric series. <laughs> that was the subject of my doctorate. Um. Oh, it was nice talking to you, Paul. Wait, 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 I'm not talking. Are you not <laughs> More? Wait. Is there more? Oh, yes, much more. Much more? Okay. Um. I don't think there's any more. Uh, so. yeah, 58 to 59. <laughs> was spent at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Oh, technology, yeah. Yes. And um, from 59 to 61, I spent at the Institute for Advanced Study at Princeton University. A very prestigious, I know. Okay. These were the years that I made many important <laughs> mathematical breakthroughs. Yes. Do you want to ask about my family life now? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So, I'm Paul. <laughs> so, Paul, um, what about your family life? Do you have anything to say about that? Oh, yes, yes. Of course not. Actually, no, hang on, let's find it. Well, until then, we'll just no, no, sing no, a jolly song. Just hold on. Now, we'll on the bus. Go around, around, around. Where is it? Hang on. Um, there's, a, there's a nice wildebeest. Oh, no, that's a dog. Oh, here's a dog. Is. This, is, this is the ancient molly dog of Dahlonega, Georgia. 
while I was on a cruise to Stockholm in 1962 for the um, International Congress of Mathematicians. I was invited to be a guest speaker. Mm. Um, that's where I met my wife. Oh, wife, oh, okay. Christina Carls. Oh, what a beautiful name. Um, she, oh, was, she was Swedish, I think, though she was Polish. Huh? 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 Bear down! Oh. Um, got married in October 1963. Oh, congratulations! Instead of twins, Aaron, uh, Eric, please stop with your kids. <laughs> Shows how dead I am. Okay, Eric and Steven. And then we had another son named Charles. That is all. Well, this was another great interview with Paul. Paul. Paul Cohen. Hello, Paul Cohen. Hello. Interviewer. I'm your interviewer for today, and I'm going to be asking you a few questions yes. again. So, um, what prizes have you received and goals have you made? Well, at a ceremony in the White House mm. in 1968, President Johnson gave me the 1967 National Medal of Science. In 1972, I was the first holder of the Marjorie McCune Fair Professorship in Quantitative Science. And then, um, I am the only holder of the Field Medal ever awarded for work in that. I'm the only holder of a field medal uh, ever awarded for work in mathematical logic. It was awarded to me in 1966. Um, I think it's achievements from the set theory. Yes. But then... It's only good talking to you, Paul. Well, thank you. Paul. Come in. Go <laughs> Yes. To Lou. To Lou. Good day. Teach me how to do it, eh? Hello, John. That's not your name, that's my name. John. <laughs> My name. Why are you doing in? <laughs> my name. But he'll feel British. <laughs> my name. My name. My name. My name is. Is this a kitty? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it a kitty? Why aren't you good with animals? Oh, not kittens. Why? What is the name of this little kitty? Why? Her name. I can see the resemblance now. <laughs> oh, kitty. Why? Hello there, no name. You're kitty. so frisky. Mm. Just kidding. Say hello to the audience. Zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, she's a bye. Hello, okay. my new name. Okay. I was ambitious. Ambitious? Amb <laughs> <laughs>